The Carolina Hurricanes and Nashville Predators have been two of the NHL's busiest teams this offseason, both via trade and free agency. So today we're going to take a little side-by-side -side look at what each team's done so far this offseason, give them a letter grade, and let you know which team we think is going to go further in next year's playoffs. Hey everybody, welcome into Clearing the Benches, your one-stop shop for hockey content. If you go ahead and hit your subscribe button right now, you'll be sure to be in on all of our future videos. Well, these are two very good teams. Uh, they had good seasons last year. Nashville, about halfway through the year, people wrote them off, and they got red hot in the second half. Uh, Carolina has just been steady Freddy for, you know, several years now. They don't get too high or too low. Uh, and when, you know, the playoffs roll around, you can always count on them being there and putting a very, very good effort forth. Uh, so let's take a look at what both of these teams have done this offseason, and let's start off with the goaltending. Uh, down in Carolina, they're going status quo. They're just bringing it back from last year with Freddie Anderson and Peter Kochikov. Uh, that was a very, very solid duo, and, you know, at times, uh, Kochikov was the starter, and then Freddie Anderson came in, you know, and in the playoffs, he played really well. So, again, when I look at what Carolina's got in the pipes, they are very solid. Uh, let's look at what Nashville has done. And the big news they did this offseason was re-signing UC Soros. Uh, Kevin Lankinen is out as the backup, and the Preds signed Scott Wedgwood to be Soros' backup. Let's take a look at the D over in Carolina, and this is where Carolina took a really big hit. Brady Shea and Brett Pesci, both gone. Uh, they traded Dylan Coughlin to the Winnipeg Jets. They re-signed Jalen Chatfield. They signed Sean Walker for a five-year deal, which is a really, really good move for them. Uh, they signed Shane Gostisbehere. They had him a few years ago. They bought him back. And they bought him back this time on a three-year deal, as well as Riley Stillman on a one-year deal. So when I look at what Carolina did, you know, uh, it's big-time, big-time shoes you're trying to replace in Pesci and Shea. And, you know, as good as Sean Walker is, I think with these other two guys, you may see them struggle just a little bit. Now let's go over and see what the Predators did on their back end. And the big news for them was, coming from Carolina, they signed Brady Shea. They also traded Ryan McDonough back to the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, they re-signed Alex Carrier. Uh, Tyson Berry is a UFA as of the shooting of this video, so I'm not really sure what their plans are for him, but I'm sure he'd like to come back to give it one more go. Uh, when we look at Carolina and the forwards, again, they took another big hit here. Uh, Jake Gensel, Tara Vinen, gone. Kuznetsov, they bought him out or, you know, they terminated his contract. Max Comtois is out. Stefan Nosen out. Um, they signed Jack Drury to two years. They signed Jack Roslovic to a one-year deal. And they did re-sign Jordan Martinuk for three more years. And, you know, he's uh, a team favorite, a fan favorite. I'm sure he's a management favorite as well. Uh, I know that when he was out here in Arizona, the fans loved him. So good for Jordan Martinuk. And I'm glad the guy extended his career and he's been able to play as long as he has. It's just uh, one of those good guy stories that, you know, doesn't matter how high or low your skill level is, if you put all your heart into it, you can achieve anything. So good for Martinuk right there. Uh, they also signed Dominic Badinka to an ELC, and I believe they had just drafted him. Uh, they've got Tyson Yost and Eric Robertson, who both came from Buffalo, and they are in on one-year deals. Uh, Josh Ryan and Josiah Slavin are on two-way contracts. And, of course, the big elephant in the room is the Marty Natchez situation. Uh, you know, he's 25 years old. He's in the prime of his career. He scored a lot of goals the last couple of years. And I think the guy, um, if he were to go to a team that was a little bit more offensive-minded, I think he would become um, more of a superstar than he is right now. So, again, this is going to go to arbitration. I just looked before I did the video. I didn't see any more updates on it. 
And there was an article about a day ago saying that they were still going to go to arbitration. Uh, when we look at what the Nashville Predators did up front, and they hit a home run here. Uh, they got the big name, you know, or one of the big names in free agency in Steven Stamkos, and they locked him down for four years. And then they went out to Vegas, and they rolled the dice on Jonathan Marsha's show for five years. Uh, you're going to have a lot of goals being scored now in Nashville. For a long time, you know, they were one of those teams. They won three, two games, four, three games. Uh, but they weren't really, you know, putting up big, big numbers. So now that those guys are coming in to go with, you know, what they've got in Roman Yossi uh, and Philip Forsberg, that's going to be really exciting to watch there in Nashville. Uh, Anthony Bobillier and Jason Zucker are both gone. I believe Zucker went to Buffalo. Uh, and then finally, as far as the forwards go for Nashville, they signed seven players to two-way AHL, NHL deals, including Kiefer Bellows and Vinny Henestrosa. So they've got a lot of depth going on there in Nashville, too, including a couple of guys uh, that have already played in the NHL. Uh, when we look at both of these teams and we give them a grade, I'll tell you, I'm not so fond of what happened down in Carolina. They took so many big hits. Uh, Brady Shea, Pesci, Gensel, Tara Kuznetsov, Stefan Nosen. You know, that's almost like, uh, that's definitely a second line in the NHL. That line would probably do pretty well against most other second lines. So when I look at the big hits that they took, and you're trying to fill those shoes, uh, even though they bought in guys like Walker and Gostaspair, I don't know. I think, in my opinion, they're going to take a step back this year, and it may be a significant one, in my opinion, to where maybe they're fighting to get into the playoffs. I may be wrong. That's just my opinion. So I'm going to give their offseason grade a C. And I think it's just because they lost too much. You know, like we just said, Gensel, Shea, Kuznetsov. Uh, I think they just took a step back. And when I look at the roster from last year to looking at the roster this year, I like last year's ro <clears throat> roster, excuse me, more than I do this year's. When we look over here at Nashville, Barry Trotz likes to swing big and go for the fences. And in my opinion, he hit a home run. I'm going to say they're going to get an A for their offseason efforts. You know, you bought in Steven Stamkos, Brady Shea, Jonathan Marchessault. All of those guys are winners. Stamkos and Marchessault have a bunch of cups between them. And I'm sure Brady Shea could be right there with them uh, down in Nashville. I think this team could make a serious, serious run. Uh, they re-signed UC Soros. I think, again, this team's going to make a big Stanley Cup push. They may be... You know, I'm not going to say mediocre during the regular season, but I think they're going to be a team that really ramps it up, just like this season, in the second half. And then when they get into the playoffs, you know, we're going to see what they're all about. So that's going to do it for today's video. I just want to do a little side-by-side -side between the Carolina Hurricanes and the Nashville Predators. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments section. Which of these two teams you think had a better offseason? Which team do you think is going to go further in next year's playoffs? Uh, if you could, please like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And as we always do here at Clearing the Benches, let them know you're out there.